So, what I want to do now is address in greater detail the last video I made that stirred up quite a bit of controversy on social media. Um, by a lot, I mean like 20 comments on Facebook, which is more than I'm used to getting. Well, first, I want to make clear that I don't take back anything I said. My only regrets would maybe be things that I didn't say, things that I didn't clarify. For starters, um, libertarians are pretty sensitive about something, and I think a lot of them thought that I was accusing them of something that's simply not true. Uh, libertarians, because they don't believe in government social welfare, they are often accused of wanting to watch poor people starve to death. I never accuse them of that, and I'm not accusing them of that. I know that the libertarian position on this is that if we give money to charity instead of the government, charities do a better job of helping the poor than government. Uh, more importantly, libertarians argue that charity comes from the heart. That is, it's intentional. If the government taxes you and then gives the money to the poor, you did not give anything to the poor. You had money taken from you and then given to the poor either with or against your will, depending, I guess, on what you think of the tax. So, the, the most important point I need to make, really, about that last video, if you read the entire title, I never claimed that I was debunking libertarianism as a whole. I was simply debunking the libertarian understanding of freedom, a very specific principle within the larger libertarian philosophy. Furthermore, I was not arguing that because I can debunk the way they look at freedom, we should throw the whole idea out and, I don't know, go the opposite of libertarian and have a big authoritarian government that tells us what to do. My main criticism of libertarians and their understanding of freedom is basically this. Um, they define freedom with a very simple dichotomy. There is government, there is freedom. If we have more government, we have less freedom. If we have more freedom, we have less government. They see things very simplistically. And don't tell me they don't, because I've seen the Ron Paul rallies and I've seen the signs. And that's where I got that from, by the way. I've seen signs that say more government equals less freedom. Now, I don't actually disagree with that, by the way. I definitely agree that if we expand government, big government's a threat to our freedom. What I disagree with is that they believe that's a complete answer. They believe it's as simple as that. You see, they define freedom by simple non-aggression. That is, if I attack someone, I'm taking away their freedom. Therefore, if government stops me from attacking someone, government's protecting their freedom. Furthermore, if I steal from someone, I'm stealing their freedom. And if government stops me from stealing someone, government is protecting their freedom. That's how libertarianism works. So within a perfect libertarian system, uh, the government would only have a few very basic roles. They would keep us from killing each other, keep us from stealing from each other, keep us from harming each other, and they would also be adjudicators in it when there are property disputes. So the government has a very simple, very basic role. Anything beyond that, the libertarian treats as force or as aggression. That includes any kind of taxes, by the way. Libertarians will tell you that taxes are the equivalent of the government holding a, hun a gun to your head and taking some of your money. Pure libertarians don't believe in taxes. They believe that the government should run in a voluntary way, such as um, they might provide services like, let's say, the post office and the government should be able to run on the fees we pay to use the post office if we so choose to use the post office. That way it's entirely voluntary. So my whole point is that libertarianism in the purest of the pure form, um, it sounds interesting, but it's just highly impractical. I am not, however, saying that libertarians don't have anything important to say. I'm not saying that we shouldn't listen to them. Actually, I think libertarians have a lot of great ideas and a lot of excellent points that we as Americans need to listen to, especially now. In the aftermath of 9-11, we have been complacent in letting the government trample on our rights, those basic freedoms that are enshrined in the Bill of Rights 
that before 9-11, trampling on them would have been unthinkable. But now that we're all scared of the terrorists, uh, we've been willing to turn a blind eye to unwarranted surveillance, to the possibility of indefinite detention without a trial. You know, the last president to actually do that was Abraham Lincoln. He arrested people without a trial and tried to claim it was a War Powers Act. But the Civil War wasn't a real war because we weren't actually, we didn't actually declare war on anyone. So the Supreme Court said Lincoln couldn't do that and Lincoln ignored them and did it anyway. Our liberty to have a fair trial really wasn't threatened again until we get to the post 9-11 era. The libertarians are the only ones who are really talking about this. Um, the hardcore base Republicans, they don't care. The hardcore base Democrats, they only cared when Bush was president. Now that Obama's president, they don't seem to care anymore either. So even if I'm not a libertarian wholeheartedly, even if I reject the philosophy as a package deal, I'm not saying that they don't have some great ideas to offer. So I hope this has clarified my fundamental point. My fundamental point is that freedom is not a simple dichotomy between government and freedom, that private sector forces are also a threat to our freedom, such as businesses, such as even farmers. Really, anyone who controls the means of production has power over us. And I'm not advocating a socialist solution, taking all that power away. I'm simply making the point that we don't have pure freedom just because we have limited government. Freedom is actually quite a bit more complicated than libertarians realize.